when the narcissist game finally ends. Narcissists play games. They enjoy a contest. They're very competitive. They engage in periods of play ending with a definite result. They manipulate situations in a way that is not honest or fair. They show no moral principles. They're very untrustworthy. They act in direct opposition to you. And for them, it's an activity that they do to have fun. It brings them amusement and enjoyment. It gives them a thrill at your expense as they manipulate you to their advantage. They toy with you. They deal with and control you in an unfair and selfish way. They play with your emotions. They consider your ideas or plans but not very seriously and not for a long time. They deliberately attempt to evade, deceive and misinform you in order to manipulate you and achieve some desired outcome. So it's like a game of cat and mouse. A series of cunning maneuvers designed to prevent you from accomplishing something or to oppose your plans or ambitions by derailing or obstructing you by confusing you or by tricking you into making a mistake so that they have an advantage over you. They will pretend as though you're on the same page and as though as long as you go along with their agenda they will give you what you want but then they will act as a hindrance to its progress and development. They will deliberately provide resistance and delay because they don't find any fulfillment in the things that you do. They're not really with you. They're not really on the same page. They're just engaging in these behaviors in the same way that a cat chases or plays with a mouse before finally killing it. Because in the end, all they're going to do is try to conquer and defeat you because they view you as their opponent. And the relationship is nothing more than a means to gain access to you while also using it as a disguise to keep you under their spell. Which is why when you catch on to their game, the game finally ends. They don't even play the game anymore. Because it's no fun for them once you're onto it. It doesn't give them that same thrill. It's more fun when you're unaware, when you don't know what's happening to you. When they can spin you around in circles. When they can make you think you're losing your mind. Because they get off on that, it brings them such a thrill. It excites them. It makes them feel alive. When they can mislead you. When they can get you to doubt yourself. When they can make you think you're going crazy. That really does it for them. That's what they live for. They love having someone that they can get one over on. Someone who they can use. It's like the only thing that brings them pleasure. Because they don't find fulfillment in relationships like normal people do. They find pleasure in toying with you and treating you as recreational use rather than a serious purpose. Which is why they go through all of that effort to devalue and destroy you. It's why they didn't even put a fraction of that same energy into building you up or into trying to make things better. Because that just doesn't do it for them. But they love it when you do that for them. 
They love to see you try to make them happy. They love when you try to help them. All the while they already know that they're full of shit. They know they're not about anything. But just to watch you going through it. And taking them seriously the entire time. Nothing feels better to them than that. Which is why they will often have their victim jumping through hoops throughout their entire life. Trying to win them over. Trying to gain their validation. When they could have given you that a long time ago. They deliberately chose not to. Because it makes them feel good inside when they have the power to do that to you. The only other option would be for them to reveal to you who they actually are. And then you would run a mile. You wouldn't want anything to do with them. Because then you would know that they're corrupt and foul. You would know that they're no good. You would be in your right state of mind and then you could make a considered decision to leave them. Which is not what they want you to do. Because they want to keep the game going for as long as possible. They want to milk as much out of you as they can. Because it's fueling them. It's a distraction from their past traumas and emotional pain. When they can give it this false character. While knowing that it's something they can never live up to. When they can manipulate you. When they can give you lies and future faking. When they can make you believe anything. When they can tell you the sky is green. As crazy as it sounds that actually boosts their self esteem. It makes them feel confident. Because either way they're still telling you what to think and what to do. So they look at it like they've won. They've conquered you. When you never should have been around them to begin with. You should have known that they're no good. But it was difficult for you to decipher. Because they gave you a false character. They strung you along. While making you believe that you were establishing something meaningful. When it was just to stroke their ego. It was just to make them feel important. And this is how you know you're not dealing with a normal person. Because a normal person would know when to blow things off. They wouldn't keep it going for months or even years. They would feel bad. They would accept that they cannot be who you need them to be. They would accept that they're not what you're looking for. But narcissists will keep the game going for as long as they can. Without a care. Without any consideration for you. Because they're greedy and selfish. They have a void that can never be filled. They're never satisfied and they lack empathy. So they find no joy in giving anything back to you. That doesn't do anything for them. Which is why the longer you stay with them. They typically end up doing less and less for you. While you end up doing more and more. And you're left just to long and yearn for some morsel of validation or reassurance. That you're doing the right thing. That you're not wasting your time. When the reality is that they only targeted you because they knew that you could fulfill them. They never intended on giving anything back to you. They never intended on bringing anything of value to your life. Because it's just all about them. They have no identity of their own. They have no self. It's just a bottomless pit that they're trying to fill. So as time goes by they just end up running their targets into the ground. They take your time, energy, money and resources. They destroy your physical, mental and emotional health. And in the end you're left with nothing. Nothing but dreams, a mirage, this idea of a possible future with them. When they knew all along that they could never give that to you. They knew that you would never accept them if you knew who they are. 
and if you knew what they're really about. Which is why if you look back, you will realize that everything they did was never to add value to your life. It was only to take value away. They gave you constant insults and put downs because they didn't want you to realize your true worth. If you knew that, then you would have left them a long time ago. You would have known that they're not going to be anything to you. But even when you finally put the pieces together and you begin to figure this out and their game is finally over and you desire to move on and start something new with another person, they're not letting you move on and it's like they'll do anything to stop you. Because if you were to do that, it would only remind them that they're worthless and that they couldn't satisfy you. So when the target finally wakes up and they realize that the entire time they were being played for a fool, the narcissist shifts from being this lazy, ignorant person to being like a man or a woman on a mission. Someone who is ready to take you down. As though it's this task that they consider to be a very important duty. Like a job that they have been given to do. When they were never serious about anything before. They saw nothing wrong with playing you for a fool. But when you become wiser and more knowledgeable. And you're starting to shine the light on them of what they've been doing behind the scenes. Now they can't take it. They're coming to get you. They're going all out to destroy your reputation. To prevent you from establishing anything after dealing with them. That might prove to them and everyone else that they were wrong. That they mistreated you. That they strung you along. Because although yes, they may have done that. They don't want to look at themselves and their actions. They don't want to own up to that. So they go all out to prove to themselves that they're not bad, crazy or wrong. That they're not completely despicable and contemptible. When in fact that's exactly what they are. Because they have a track record. A clear pattern of behaviour of things that they've done to you. And not only to you but they've done this to other people before you. To the point where they become masters at it. They know exactly what they need to do to get people to succumb to their will. To get people to do what they want. And it always has the same result in the end. They destroy everything they come into contact with. They ruin people's lives. And yet they never have to deal with the consequences. It's always left for someone else to deal with. While they get away unscathed. But they develop a lot of hatred, envy and resentment. Towards the very people that they destroyed. Which is why the last thing they want is to see you moving on. They're not going to let you go without a fight because they already know what they've done. They're left to deal with the shame. And it's eaten away at them. So the only other thing they can do is keep abusing you. They can't let you get away. They've got to hold on to you for dear life. Because it's either that or they're left alone to their own devices. They're left to look at themselves in the mirror and reflect on everything they've done. To you and to everyone else in their lives. They've destroyed so many people. People who could have went on and become something. If they had never interfered. But narcissists only care about themselves. They don't consider anyone else. You may have a family. You may have people who love and care about you. You may have children. You may have people who depend on you. But none of that matters to the narcissist. All they care about is themselves. So it's nothing for them to target you and affect you in the way that they do. They don't even consider the consequences or the knock-on effects of their actions. They don't consider how it impacts other events or situations. 
They really don't care. They're not even thinking about that. All they're thinking about is what they want in the moment. And by any means they're going to get it. They don't care what effect it has on you or anyone else. They're senseless. They're mindless and foolish. All they care about is what they want. Or what's going to make them feel better. And if it comes at the cost of destroying people's families, jobs and their hopes and dreams for the future. Then in their minds that's a fair price to pay. As long as they get what they want. That's all they're concerned with. Which is why they throw in the towel. They give up on you as soon as you stop giving in. But even then the game isn't over. With a narcissist the game never ends. They just find new participants. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.